Hey guys, Momentite JK here today, bringing you a uh, different kind of video. Um, it's gonna be for uh, so if if, if, if you're or from SoCal or you're flying in, uh, you know, Purposehead Regionals is gonna be this Saturday, and I just want to give you guys some. Uh, majority of you will probably know, uh, but I just want to. Oh crap! I just want to give you guys some um, like uh, stuff to know, uh, just for like the regionals and like what to do and like what not to do. Well, not really, not not to do. Uh, first thing first, uh, obviously make sure you have your ducks. Uh, another thing too is it's a really big thing, so make sure your deck is just your deck. You don't have any extra cards. So like right now, I currently have my my Terry Mod deck. What I'm gonna be playing over there um, is like this stuff in here. I have this stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out uh, before originals, or I should, I should actually let's just do it now. Uh, make sure there is nothing in there, nothing in there that is a, another Digimon card or anything in general. I um, mean, you, you can keep these in there, the, the biters, I mean, the, uh, the memory gauges, because some maps won't have them, so it's good to have them. Because um, you can get randomly deck checked. It doesn't matter what table you're at, it doesn't matter if you're at the first table, if you're at the last table, you're in the middle of the table. You can, you and your opponent can randomly get deck checked. And it's not a fun experience. Um, back in my Yu-Gi-Oh days, um, maybe like almost 10 years ago when I was probably like around like 15, 16. Um, I feel like, I feel like this is just because me and my opponent who was my friend because I played him in different regionals and like funny enough we actually played each other was we were, um, literally across from the judge table and I want to say it's just because we were right there and so this is back then, um, uh, funny enough I actually have the deck box. Okay, give me one sec, I don't have the deck box. I thought I did, so. Um, essentially, oh, this is a good example. Okay. Oof. So, we were there, and so, double deck box. Ah. Oh, it's two decks, okay? Oh, it's two decks. So, um, they told us before, like an announcement, make sure your deck box is just like in a deck box. And so, we're like, oh, we have a double deck box. Sure, we have two decks. One deck, two deck. You're like, you play card games. You have more than one deck, usually. So, we got deck checked and we were waiting. It was like maybe 15, 10 minutes. And then there were some, uh, being, um, uh, being smart with us saying like, oh, well, these cards aren't on the list that you submitted. And so we, me and my opponent, all, we both got a game loss because we had an entirely other deck in the other deck box, was, which obviously wasn't part of the deck. And so we got a game loss, well, both of us, which is very unfortunate. So I just want to give you guys that reminder to make sure you take everything out of your deck box that isn't your deck, and uh, but you can you remember you can leave the memory gauges in there, and because it's 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 pretty butt feeling like you get like um like for like the rest of that tournament like, I was like down the entire time because it was like it's it wasn't fun like it's like you obviously like obviously like as a judge they know like this isn't part of their deck but it's another deck in a deck box. It's like, because I guess double deck boxes back then, you say for Yu-Gi-Oh wise, it's like you have your deck and then you have your extra deck inside deck. It's like it's it's just it's it was just unfortunate. So yeah, that's just a little reminder to just to do that. You could even do that right now or even the day before. Uh, another thing too, uh, deck lists are due to today is still the 18th. They are due tomorrow. Uh, I think before seven, I think, uh, but I could be wrong. But just upload it like if you have time before seven or six because you could get a round one loss not submitting a uh your deck list in time uh, i do apologize for that horrible glare on my glasses right there for my editor, for my editor monitor um okay just make sure to do that make sure you're you have to weirdly enough you have to do it on the t on the bandai tcg app which is a pretty trash app <laughs> uh but that's what we got but it's a lot better from what it used to be um remember to do that uh uh you don't have to put the correct rarity like if you have an alt heart of like a certain card but if you want to be safe just, just do that um, another thing, always, uh, for like, even, like, your first round opponent, like, even, even if it's annoying, always ask, what does that do? Even if you know what it is, like, as card game players, like me, sometimes I'll read a card, like, like, halfway, all right, and then, and then somebody's like, oh, you know what this is, too, it's like, it does that, do I just thought, I just thought, the, the, uh, like, the part where it matters, um, but yeah, make sure to, uh, ask the opponent what ask the opponent what your effects do what is the on deletion what does this have like a one attacking or stuff like that because sometimes you forget sometimes you're like oh my god i didn't know 
it, it's dead out or something, or I haven't seen that card in so long, so you don't know, uh, like, what it does. So always make sure that, as, even, even if the opponent gets annoyed, who cares? Like, you want to make sure. And the other thing, too, um, try Rural Shark if you have to. Yes, Rural Sharking is, like, pretty frowned upon, but for me, my logic is, like, you paid to, to play at this event. You played, you're trying to, when everybody comes in with a mentality, I want to try to win, or I, I at least want to try to top. You paid money to enter this uh, big tournament, and you're not trying to lose because you're, you're going to let somebody take back their misplay. Um, like, for me, even, like, in, usually in big tournaments, sometimes in local, it's just because, like, in my local, I went to go to a local, pretty much everybody, essentially. Uh, like, well, yeah, you can take it back, yada, yada, sure. But, like, in big tournaments, like, even if I misplay, I don't take it back sometimes. Like, I don't, sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I don't even want to, like, ask the opponent, can I take it back? Because, like, that's my misplay. That's my fault. Like, I can't read, or I'm like, why did I do that? Like, there's a difference when, like, you read a card incorrectly, and, like, you hard play a card, and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have played that. Because that's, like, it's, it's illegal play. So, but, yeah, uh, just uh, rule strike if you have to. Um, another thing, too, it's a giant thing. I've seen it happen multiple times is if you guys are in time and you know you know that your opponent is slow playing you ask him to make a move quickly or call a judge over because he is slow playing you because um uh people will slow play because they want to get a tie a tie is better than a loss because you guys each get a point or even if they did they get the first one and then they they, they you guys go a time on the second game and you guys get a tie he's technically higher because he has a win and you don't so always try to um, uh, what's the word? I just had it on top of my tongue. Uh, call them out. Call them out if you think they're slow playing you. And, like, you can tell when somebody's slow playing you. It's, it's not fun. Like, it's just, like, like, they'll, they'll do the old thing. They'll fan out their deck. They'll, they'll do the, the little Yu-Gi-Oh thing where they count their fingers like that. They'll move the, the, um, uh, the memory gauge and stuff. And it's just, um... Just, just do it. it it's a, it'll be a lifesaver. Uh, speaking about memory gauges, that are they do. Oh, even if the opponent has one on their mat, have your own memory gauge because you want to keep track of your movement and your opponent's movement. So that way you don't have to like touch their dice or anything or any of them. Uh, keep it on your side. That way you know correctly. Because sometimes it happens like, oh, why are you a six memory? And when you're supposed to be a five, and that way you can retrace everything that you did and stuff. So try to have your own, own memory gauge if you can. If you if you can, like, it happens. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that's, it's gonna be like a pretty short video, but yeah, uh, upload your deck list, uh, as soon as you can before, um, I think, I think it's 8 o'clock, 8 or 7 o'clock tomorrow, on the 19th, uh, make sure your deck box has only your deck, obviously, if, like, your, uh, your dice has a dice department that can have dice, because that's not gonna do anything, what's dice gonna do on your deck, um, uh, what else, uh, rules are gonna be happy, remember, Again, you pay for this event. You're not trying to lose money. Um, like if you lose money because you lose, that's different. But if you lose because somebody's misplaying and, you're, and like, because I, it's happened to me where I've lost games because I let somebody take it, take a playback, and I'm just like, it cost me the game. Like, they, it, it's a horrible feeling. Um, like sometimes, like, and it's not you being a bad guy. It's just like, I'm here. I'm I'm here to do good. It's, when you have to win, you just want to do good and make sure it's fair. Uh, Call your opponent if they think they're still playing or they're stalling. Uh, keep track of your memory gauge. Uh, even ask the opponent how many cards are on their hand. Like, even if you ask him like three times or four times at the same turn, it's like five, 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 five. And then all of a sudden, like, you pass turn, there are five, they go to six, they drop a turn. And then it's like, you had, it's like, and then it's like, how many cards are in your hand? I have eight. It's like, where did you draw two cards from? Um, well, like, where did you draw, yeah, where did you draw, where did you draw two cards from? Because you haven't seen them Evo, you haven't seen them, uh, like, they swing at security, and then they draw a card, and all of a sudden they have eight cards. They always keep track of that. It's a, it's a really, like, a uh, good reminder. Um, uh, try to, in my own personal opinion, try to sit in front of the clock. Um, not in front of the clock, but like in front of the clock where you can see the timer. Um, and I don't mean that in a way, so like when you go to time, you can slow play. 
but so so that you know like oh hey um like or we're on turns and keep track of turns when they get you as soon as they say time whatever turn it is that's turn zero so zero one two three you're done yada yada and so you can use a dice and be like okay your turn zero the turn one two three four back and forth um try to sit in front of the blog that way it's like let's say because i think time is only like five or ten minutes i think it's five minutes for regionals um that way it's like okay it's been his turn for two minutes and there's only three minutes left at that point just call a judge on him for um trying to solve the clock essentially trying to waste time because you can they a very simple game where it's like you can see all their plays and stuff they do obviously you don't know what's in their hand but like on the field you can see like this is like the best thing you can do but you're just stalling the time because you're trying to get like a cheeky win up out of it um what else what else i know i, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself uh, try to show up early try to show up early like i riverside is like not that far from me it's where regional is going to be at but i don't know the area and so try to go early um obviously we're staying in an apartment i mean apartment in a hotel or something you're already close to it but if you're driving there like the day of really early uh again I recommend try to go there early that way you can find where are the places where parking is at and stuff uh just it, it'll make it easier for you uh da, 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 i think that might be everything um the deck thing is like the most important thing uh make sure you're fighting you're, you're fighting the right opponent make sure you're on the correct table number or whatever they're going to do when they get when they it happens there make sure you're at the right area that way you don't just randomly like oh i was waiting for my opponent but they never showed up it's like what and then you call a judge over it's like oh uh, your opponent your opponent's like a table 200 you're a table like 150 and it's like oh i thought i was this table so always double check who you're playing and what table you're at uh i think that's everything um if you don't agree with the ruling always try to call a judge call a judge uh if you guys can't figure it out because i know for some tournaments i i know how to play like standard card games and all they all have the same rule like you can't take your phone up to check because it's um considered cheating somehow um or like uh you can like see like the correct method of like how to do it before like you actually do your turn um so keep track of that you, even if the opponent t- takes out their phone so that's when, like they, and, they're, and they're on your and they're on their phone during your turn ask them to put it away like, but I was like, I ask him nicely, and they, and if they don't put it away, call a judge over and just be like, hey, he's been on the phone, each time, each time I've been on my turn, I don't know what he's doing, I don't know if he's, like, looking up, like, how to play, I don't know if anybody's watching behind me or something, telling him, like, oh, this is it, yada, 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 uh, call a judge on that, because that's, that is a really, really, uh, big thing. Uh, yeah, and then, like, obviously, if the, uh, you don't agree with, like, the judge ruling, try to, like, get, get work from the head judge. And usually his word is final. And like, sometimes is that incorrect? And like I, I've been in a situation where like uh, the head judge rule is not correct and stuff. And it's it's it, it sucks. But yeah, just try just try to deal with it the best you can. Um, try it, it, this is very cliche today. Try not to stress out. Um, just go in, go in, have a good time, and just try to do your best. Because uh, if you go in with the mentality I just want to win, and like you break, it's like it's not the end of the world. Like even if you break. They, you you can get out of it because maybe the opponent runs out of gas maybe they run out of like all their pieces and they're like well like, yeah, I don't have any fast turns and then you can slowly like, like come back it's happened to me it's happened to me multiple times I used, I used to just scoop in this game but now I know that, like now I've learned like then like because like, after you scoop really quick or like you, you look you're like oh I would have been fine and after that I've just uh, I don't scoop immediately anymore I only scoop if I'm like okay I literally can't win because they have two security you have four swings two swings three, uh, three swings and it's like nothing in my hand does anything nothing in my trash does anything my field can't stop that i have no stuff in my hand like you you have the game because like, it's like oh like because like you know your deck it's like oh um you have the game and it's like even if the opponent says oh, you don't want to see what happens in security it's like no no no, it's okay I, I don't i don't run certain like stuff but only say that like if it's like game three or game two or something no not even game two like only if it's like game three that way they're like oh he doesn't run bomb that i can go into security um yeah um obviously you're gonna stress like i said like but again uh, just uh try not to uh stress out as much as you can um i don't know if there's gonna be food around there bring some water bring a hydro do not leave your hydro on top of the table leave it like next to your bag or something uh take a sip like and then just put it back down I, I, it's happened where like a uh, hydro has, has spilled because they thought they closed it and the water spilled on their mat and their cards and it, and it was it, was, it, it sucked and it was not fun. 
because you, you're not trying you're not trying to replace cards because you don't know what they have yeah, like a, like SP master monster is just like well I can't afford that so I'm gonna leave no, but, uh, leave your water on the table don't leave it on top um I think that's everything uh, I'm hoping I do good I'm hoping I just like uh, last few regionals have been treating me very very badly um i usually take green i took purple the last few times and then it just they did not, not turn me good um uh, but yeah just, just uh, have some fun try to do your best and uh if you see me feel free to say hi if you guys uh watch my videos I, if for everybody who does i do appreciate that um uh, small little channel i do everything <laughs> um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this pro this, this profile the force of habit enjoy this video and hope you guys hope it helps anybody who is new to regionals or people who, are, who, who uh, already know all this stuff. But if you're new, I hope this helps you for your first regionals and stuff, because it's, it's really rare when it's, there's a, a in-person regionals, anything in California. So yeah, and I'll see you guys at the regionals.